In the news tonight, some members of a North Texas church say they are shocked to learn that the man they just elected senior pastor is a convicted sex offender. But leaders at the New Heart Family Worship Center in Cleburne say no one has anything to worry about. Channel 8's Jim Douglas is live in our Fort Worth newsroom with the very latest. Jim? Well, church leaders who hired a registered sex offender say he's a good man and that the Bible is full of redeemed sinners changing lives. Last Sunday, members of New Heart Family Worship Center elected Claude Gilliland III to senior pastor. You know, a lot of times we sit there and read the Bible. Some now say they didn't know he's a convicted sex offender. The founder and retiring leader of the Little Cleveland Church says there was never any intent to hide Gilliland's past. And there's nothing that has ever been secret. Uh, he said two weeks ago, he said, I've got a dark, dark past. If anybody wants to know about it, you just ask me and I'll be glad to tell you. Pastor Carl Roy says Gilliland told church leaders when they interviewed him in the summer. He said he served four years in prison for sexual assault involving his now former wife. We thought we'd let the, the uh, uh, congregation get to know him first uh, and then tell him. Uh, and we thought that it would be best if he told them. Weeks passed. Then in October, the Cleveland paper published photos of registered sex offenders, including Gilliland. Roy says no church members complained. He's asked God to forgive him. He's told us he's asked God to forgive him. I have taken him at his word for it. But now come questions about whether Pastor Gilliland should be around children or whether his presence will keep the church from growing. Know you not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Roy says this is a story of redemption, not scandal. I really think that God sent him to this church. I really believe that. Pastor Roy says that Gilliland offered to resign, but church board told him to stay because church leaders and the congregation voted him in. But you can bet there's going to be more on this Sunday morning. Live in Fort Worth, Jim Douglas, Channel 8 News.